For Salma, this kind of box is all too familiar. Gifted to mothers whose babies are still born, a way to remember a life never lived. Salma has suffered 16 miscarriages and four stillbirths. At one point, she feared she might never become a mother. It's just like heartbreaking. Just the thought of it, it's, it's a nightmare. It's, it's a living nightmare. It's something that never, ever leaves your heart. You don't get over it. I don't think you ever get over it. No matter how many kids you have, that one or the ones you've had before never get over because they're always part of you. They're always there somewhere deep down. She now has the family she always dreamed of, but says she'll never forget those she lost. That's where the angel box comes in. It contains teddy bears, a blanket, and even a special Moses basket, as well as a recognition certificate for babies lost before 24 weeks. Currently, their deaths are not officially recorded. But to me, the certificates, everything is just in this box just gives me something to hold on to. It's an issue which has won the support of Coronation Street actress Kim Marsh. Having lost a baby at 21 weeks herself, earlier this year her character Michelle delivered a stillborn boy. When you go through losing a child, um, you go through so many different feelings and emotions and it's very, very hard to understand those emotions a lot of the time. Uh, some people feel lost, some people feel alone, some people feel angry, you know, and some people end up going through depression and, you know, and worse. A national review headed up by a midwife here at the University Hospital in Coventry wants to change the way early losses are treated. Sam Collins is working with charities and parents to improve care for bereaved families. When a baby is born before that legal age of viability, they're not recognised um, as, as a person in their own right because they can't be registered um, and there are very few tangible memories. Sometimes it's not possible to take photographs and such like. So the certificates are really, really valued by parents experiencing loss pre-24 weeks. The review will be recommending changes to both hospital and community care. We have to remember that only 20% of loss actually happens in a hospital setting. The rest happens through GPs, nurses and the community. So we need to make sure there's a great level of care for every person, whether they access medical help or not. For those who've lost a baby, whatever their age, the pain never truly goes away. But with the outcome of the review being given directly to the Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, it's hoped improvements to the system will mean they don't have to suffer alone. Charlotte Cross, ITV News, Coventry.